everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to my channel today. Um, normally, when you're going on a cruise, this is what the cruise lines want you to think about when you're getting ready to take a cruise ship vacation. Idyllic conditions, wonderful, uh, wonderful weather, and great views, but I'll tell you, this can also happen. Uh, not that this is a common occurrence, but it can happen and this year 2019 we have had five different incidents on cruise ships running from accidental uh, issues like a crane falling on a ship to uh, uh, ships crashing into piers like the epic here and engine failures let's recap the five epic fails so far for 2019 uh, the first one was actually 500 people getting sick on the oasis of the seas the ship was heading to Jamaica. People started feeling ill. It got the foul mouth and by the time the ship docked here there were over 120 cases of norovirus on board this 6,000 passenger ship plus 2,000 crew. The officials in Jamaica would not let anyone off the ship. The ship decided to go to Cozumel. By the time they left port and were heading halfway to Cozumel another hundred people were ill. The ship turned around and went right back to Florida. By the time the ship came back into port, there were over 500 cases of norovirus. What a mess that one was. Norwegian Escape had a beautiful trip going, uh, coming down the eastern seaboard of the U.S. when she got hit with a 115 mile an hour wind around 10.30 in the evening, in the dead of night. Uh, the wind hit the side of the ship and caused her to list at a dramatic angle, causing anything that wasn't buttoned down to fall out, fall down, or slide across the floor. Furniture, uh, glasses, dishes, and people were sliding along the floor of the ship as she was trying to right herself. It took over 20 minutes for it to happen. The ship did make, her, make it into uh, uh, Port Canaveral, and uh, the ship was fine, but passengers were a bit shook up. The uh, next disaster to talk about, Norwegian Epic engine failure, a total disaster of a cruise. She left Florida, and within a day, her engines were down to only 8 knots top speed. She limped into San Juan, Puerto Rico after cancelling a couple of stops in St. Thomas and St. Martin. And in, in San Juan, the ship crashed into the pier, causing damage to her hull long scrapes thankfully no water was uh, was leaking onto the ship the technicians they ignored this problem they looked at it but this wasn't the issue they were trying to get the engines back up and running they thought they had it fixed the next day should the ship left only to find it 12 hours later the engines conked out again she limped all the way back to florida and the cruise was a complete write-off everyone got a refund and they were not happy with this Crane crashes into the Oasis of the Seas in Freeport, Bahamas. The Oasis of the Seas was supposed to go to the Freeport for a quick one-week turnaround to get some of her azopods worked on when inside the dry dock the ship shifted and tilted badly causing a crane to crash into and fall onto the ship itself. This is not how cruise ships are supposed to look when they're in dry dock. Here's a picture of the crane right across the back of the ship. Thankfully, no one was killed. There were some injuries, but no deaths. It was a miracle. $50 million later, after the ship was moved to uh, Cadiz, Spain, she was repaired, including her azopods, and she's now servicing customers in the Mediterranean. She'll go in for a $160 million dry dock in November, back to Cadiz for all of her other work, mostly uh, cosmetics. Uh, and a lot of new features, and then she'll be back to Florida. And the big story of the year, the Viking Sky, off the coast of Norway, two miles off the coast of Norway, issues an SOS when her engines conked out due to low oil pressure. It turned out the ship was helpless. Uh, even ferries in the area stopped operating that day because of how bad the weather was. <clears throat> People were questioning why would the captain of a luxury cruise liner, six-star luxury cruise liner, go out in weather like this. And sure enough, the ship could not handle it and the engines conked out. Thankfully, <clears throat> they dropped anchor within a mile of the shore and it kept the ship from hitting the rocks which are only 300 meters away. She would have been torn apart. There were at least 1,350 people on board the ship, 900-odd passengers, 450 crew, 
The captain ordered an evacuation. Everyone had their life preservers on. They met at their muster stations, and for 36 hours, the Norwegian Coast Guard <clears throat> sent helicopters to the heaving ship to get people off of her. Everything inside the ship was pummeled, tossed around. It's like a salt shaker in here. It was bad. Damage was extensive to everything inside the ship. By the time it was said and done, 36 hours later, uh, about a third of all the people on board the ship had been plucked off by the helicopters. And finally, the engines were brought back online. They were able to get the ship back to port, and uh, no one died, thankfully. There were 31-odd injuries, unfortunately, uh, some serious, but uh, no fatalities. What a story. That is our number one scary story of the year, and the imagery was just unbelievable. There you go. Six months into 2019, five epic fails. More coming, I guess, but... Again, it's a safe way to travel. Believe it or not, it really is a safe way to travel. But every once in a while, we get some of these stories. Join me Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern, Saturdays at 2 Eastern. We talk cruise ships six days a week live on Traveling with Bruce. Subscribe to my channel today. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.